today we will study estimation and costing in that estimation costing we will deal with the introduction of what exactly we are studying the bar bending schedule and the quantity estimation the waste water structure quantity and estimation and the road work estimation or road work quantity estimation so in that estimation of bar bending if we have given a problem prepare the schedule of bars for the rcc linter shown in figure assuming bearing of linters be 15 cm on each wall on both walls at each side weight of 10 mm dia and 6 mm dia is already given in running meter in kg running meters and this is the linter we are talking about in figure and this is the cross section at base span and the section at support so uh, if we solve this problem first of all we have, what we have have to find we have to find the bar we have to prepare the bar bending schedule and in that bar bending schedule we have to list out the different types of steel bar used in that particular question so the details of bar for the bar bending schedule is first of all look at if it is, if we are using a bar a that bar a will be like this so this bar a will be this one and to find out the length of this one we have to add the bear span plus 150 bearing from here to here 150 bearing two times up to here minus the cover and we have taken cover as 25 mm plus 2 into 9 into d where d is the dia of the bar this is how we will find out the length of this straight uh, steel bar which comes to be 1.43 meter now the second type of bar is used is this one crank at both ends that bar this bar is this one and that will have a length of 1.25 in this 1.25 is 1 meter plus 150 mm bearing 2 into minus up to here 25 mm plus extra for crank plus two bends that will be 1.25 this should uh, should be 1.25 plus extra extra for crank there are two cranks 1 and 2 2 into 0.42 d where d is the depth of the bar the depth of the bar will be like will be from center of this bar to the center of this bar this is the depth of bar plus 2 into 9 into d where 9 d D is the bar diameter that comes to be 1.52 meter. Now the third one bar D. In this bar, this is the bar we are using here as uh, the uh, stirred bar, which will be of 6 mm diameter. So, so the total length of stirred we are using is 2 into A into E. So this will be the stirred. This will be the steel, and that steel in to in this is E, and this is from in to in here is A. So there will be two into A plus E plus twenty four D for the extra length, and that D is the bar, uh, the bar diameter. So two into twenty three point eight here in the example we have uh, we have this. As 30 centimeter minus 2 into cover, so 25 plus 50, so 300 minus 50 will be to uh, 50, and that 50 minus the because this is this a is into in in this direction, so into in is minus 12. So if we minus 12, uh, minus 12 mm from 250 will get 238 mm. Plus 8.8. Likewise for the E, we'll do. We'll get 8.8 centimeter or 8 cm uh, millimeter. Plus 24 into D. This extra length D is the bar diameter. So we'll get the total length of this uh, 
steel, uh, the steering. Now uh, we get the total length of steering, we get the total length of the uh, bars, two bars, we'll add total length 1.43 plus 1.52 and we'll multiply it with the running meter, uh, the, the weight per running meter. So we'll get the total weight of the steel and for steering we'll multiply same the length with the running meter length. So we'll get the total uh, the, the quantity of this A. So the quantity will be like 1.43 plus 1.52 into weight weight of steel for, for bar A, A, C, C and bar B. For bar D, the steel one, it will be 0 0.8 into weight of steel of 6 mm 5 so this is 10 mm 5 for 10 mm tire this is 3.8 into weight of the steel of 6 mm 5 tire because this steel is 6 mm tire so this is how we estimate the, uh, the quantity of the, uh, the steel present in the beam and uh, this is how we prepare the bending schedule of the given problem. Now the next, if we have given the uh, waste water structure and we have asked to, con to find out the quantity of the estimation we will see a given figure, this given figure prepare the rate estimate of the drains of 3 meter this the drain will be 3 meter length here weak cement concrete is 1 to 4 is to 8 cement concrete is 1 to 2 is to 4 12 mm thick cement plaster is 1 to 4 and all the dimensions are in mm in this numerical so this is how we will find out the we will prepare the the uh, descriptions and all these things, the items. Item 1 will be the earthwork. In that earthwork, we know the length of the, um, the length, this is in meter. The length of the structure is 3 meter. And the breadth, the breadth is 524. In the earlier figure, we have seen this figure, this is 524. And the length is 3 meter and the height is 390 meter 390 mm this in mm and this is in meter 3 meter so the quantity will be 0 0.61 if we have to find out the quantity of the uh, the PCC we have used big cement we have used that will be 90 this one 90 so it will be 90 mm so again 3 meter into mm Okay, so this is how we will calculate the cubic meter of this. Now, third one is cc, what is 2 is to 4. That cc will be here, this small portion. How? We will first calculate the quantity of this one and then the minus the semicircular quantity. So, first we have quantity 3 meters into that rectangle kind. 324 and 324 of that bread and 150 mm the height of that so we have calculated the uh, value of that the uh, the quantity of that minus the quantity of that semicircle that we have used and that will be again 3 meter into pi by 8 into d square so there will be the total volume that will be minus from this and the net value will be 0 0.12 cubic meter which is the value of this one below the semicircle place third one 10 cm thick brickwork in 1 is to 4 so what is brickwork? brickwork is this one the, the inclined lines on both the side and those having 100 mm as their width and height as 300 so 
टू बॉल्स आर देयर ऑफ थ्री मीटर हैविंग थ्री हंड्रेड हाइट हैविंग थ्री हंड्रेड हाइट सो इट बी कमिंग इट वन पॉइंट एट स्क्वेयर मीटर बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी हैव गिवन द जेंट सेंटीमीटर थिकनेस सो वी हैव जस्ट नीड ओनली थ्री हंड्रेड एम हाइट द सो इट बी स्क्वेयर मीटर अगेन इफ यू आर हैविंग वी आर फाइंडिंग ऑन ट्वेल्थ एम थिकनेस ऑफ प्लास्टर सो ट्वेल्थ एम थिकनेस ऑफ प्लास्टर ऑफ इट यस ट्वेल्थ एम थिकनेस ऑफ प्लास्टर दैन इट विल बी टू पाई इंटू वन फिफ्टी बाय टू सो दिस विल बी लाइक होल बाय टू टू पाई इंटू वन फिफ्टी बाय टू and that 150 will be the diameter of the circular part and that will comes out to be 1.41 square meter again that this 12 mm minus 2 is here actually this one if again we are using 12 mm thick plaster one is to four which is for the walls these two walls one is this one Another is this one. So again, it will comes out to be uh, uh, two into three because these are three meter walls all along the length, and two into three will be the length of two times the length of the wall. And again, the breadth will be fifty because that whole breadth will be hundred plus hundred plus fifty, three hundred fifty, and. That comes out. The quantity will be two into three into three fifty into two point one square meter, which can be seen here in the diagram. We will just add this one, this one, and this one. So we know already now this one one fifty plus hundred plus hundred. And after this, we have to calculate the total quantity. And the total quantity will be here somewhere. Will be in cubic meter. This will be in cubic, cubic meter, and this whole quantity will be in uh, square centimeter. And this will be the different quantity because this is the equal. So we have made it three different quantity. Multiply it with the rate. We will be the rate will be given, and we will we can quantify the amount. Now the last one is road work estimation. In road work estimation. We have to prepare a table to find out the 
banking and trading all these things, values. So how we will get? First of all, we will list out the teenage 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And we have to find out the depth, the mean depth we can say. And that depth will be FL minus GL. What is FL? FL is formation level and GL is ground level which has already been given in the example here. The RL of ground and RL of FL. So FL is 108.6 minus 108.6 will be 0. 108.45 minus 109.4 will be minus 0.8 something. So it will come like this here. That will be shown in this table somewhere. Here again we will get yes. So here will be 108 minus 108.5 so it will be again negative. Here 107.85 minus 107.25 will be positive. So at 19 it will be positive until that it will be negative. So at 19 will get the positive value until that it will be negative value. Like up here. Now the mean depth, the mean depth or height. Uh, uh, the height will be function We are talking about like this. Let's be honest. I will draw the example like this. So we are doing this. So this is formation level and this is ground level. Now we have calculated the mean depth. Mean depth will be 0 plus 0 0.8. 0 plus minus 0 0.8 divided by 2, 0.4. Again, 0 0.8 plus 0, uh, minus of 0 0.8 plus minus of 0. Point, uh, minus of 1.1 will be minus of 1.9 divided by 2 will be 0. Point, minus 0. Point, like this, we will do for every, every data. Again, if you want to find out the area of central portion. Then it will be B into D, where capital B we have already done, we have already seen given is 12. So again 0 0.4 minus, uh, sorry, 0 0.4 value as a magnitude will be multiplied by 12 meter, 4.8. Likewise, each value in the mean depth D will be the magnitude of the value will be multiplied by the, the, uh, the capital B, which is given as 12 meter, and the formation level width. And again, we will find out the this quantity. And the area of size will be S into D, S into D, or DM square is the this height is known as DM. That's why it is DM square. So here in area of size, area of size S is up till this until this passes up to passes, we will take the cutting cutting slope. From here we will take the uh, the banking slope. Why will do this? Because of if it is a 30 meter um, challenge, let's say challenge A and challenge B, the 30 meter length is there, and suppose we have having up to x distance we are traveling, we have cut it up to x distance and remaining 30 minus x because the, the change length is 30 meter so the remaining 30 minus x will be back in B ok now the banking is 0 0.5 sorry the cutting is 0 0.5 the banking is 0 0.6 And somewhere here it is crossing and meeting like this. So up to here we have X. So again using the similar triangle approach, we'll find out or we have found out that using the similar triangle approach we'll get the X equals to 40 
meter and this portion will be 60 meter. So that's why up to 40 meter we have cutting and from that beyond this we will have the uh, so in that 18 plus 14 uh, uh, within that 30 meter of range we have up to 40 meter we have cutting and up to 33 meter we have banking. So this is the, the division in this. Like we can see here, up to 40 we have cutting, then 60 we have uh, the uh, banking. So in 40 we will get some value here. So the area of size this HTC power will take up. So here and again we will calculate this. The total area, total area will be B into B plus HDO square. So this plus this. We will add both of this and list out values here. Again, we will find out the length between change. We know the length will be changed given constant which is 30 meter and we have already found out that up. Within a length, uh, here somewhere, here somewhere, we got that uh, up to 40 meter there will be cutting and the remaining 60 meter is uh, what you say the banking region. So up to here we will get again the, this will be like 30, yes, it will be 30 and 9, 30 we will find out the values and the cutting will get the cutting value 151.2, 382, 360 and remaining. And again the banking value. So we got the quantity of cutting and banking from the formulas, and that will be calculated here somewhere. And let's say we we'll calculate here only. It will be added here. This will be added. So this will be cutting value. This will be banking. And we know how much cutting value we have done, and we know how much uh, banking we have done. So we can overall say the earthwork excavation, we can add the values and we can get the earthwork excavation. And if you don't want to add, you can just take the separate values and multiply the values at the given date and then find out the total amount exactly, how much we incurred cost in cutting and then how much in banking. Generally, cutting the, 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 the value, the, the, uh, the uh, what to say, the amount of uh, soil we recovered from cutting is compensated in banking. That's why we just uh, add these values and get the total amount and then get the total uh, money required at the CSR values. We multiply the values with this and get the into their total quantity and we we'll get the value of the amount. This is how we do the uh, road estimation and then whole thing is done by the method mid section. Mid section method. Mid section method is applied to us. So, this is how we do the road estimation, and uh, we'll study further few, few, more, few more numericals on these same topics afterwards. Thank you.